I was going to put it out a video, but I decided to put it out this way. This is a better way. I just want you to understand that on both sides, both Protestant and Catholic, of which I'm both familiar with because my grandmother and my grandfather, who was a Baptist preacher, and um, I'm telling you, on both sides, there's a whole lot of issues to be sorted out. There's no church that's not touched by the corruption and the things things that shouldn't be there. I wouldn't ever say that, I mean, even the Catholics, the traditional Catholics especially, they'll tell you. They'll, they point out the things that they know, you know, that is wrong. And the Protestants, we all fight each other. So we know that there's issues on both, both sides of the aisle. It's all over the place. We know that. That's why we put our trust in Jesus Christ and Him alone. And I draw a whole lot of encouragement from the Protestant Church and the Catholic Church. I, have the, I, I really feel like that that's a real blessing God's given me. Just a tremendous blessing. I just look for Jesus where He is. It may not be identical to what you believe, that you think that that may be wrong. But this is my walk. And a lot of these things that I'm being judged by, it's because you've done this, because you know that I was doxxed, and you received information, probably, no doubt, Photo Helix. He gave people a whole, he helped that out a whole lot. I don't hate him, I forgive him, but come on. He was one of my biggest, uh, he, was, he was a persecutor, he did it. And, and I, I hated that he did it, but there was nothing I could do to stop it. This has been going on for a long time. And there's people going to have to give an account for it. And, and they go through my stuff. And they look for little things that they can find that they can tear me down with. Because they can't deal with the fact that they've been living this and doing this for so many years. And God never gave them the revelation nor pulled them out of it. He gave them over to that sin like it was nothing. He gave you over to it. He gave, he gave a lot of you over to it. Because you were being tested. And you repeatedly chose to follow Satan's path, the left-hand path, over God's righteous right-hand path. You chose to do what was evil in the sight of God. And to persecute somebody who was innocent. And, and be a part of helping to destroy them. And causing so much grief. And I forgive you. You could tell in my voice. And you could tell. I don't hate you. It was not ever about hate or unforgiveness. What this was about always. Is that this was wrong. Before the living God. It's bringing judgment upon you. And upon this, upon this nation. The church is under judgment. Because I'm not the only one that this was done to. There's consequences. There's one girl that this was done to that it moved the heart of God so much that those who participated in her persecution were nothing but Judas's. Some of them won't ever be brought back and restored because they participated in such evil, listening to them having sex, hoping to find out some kind of new revelation from God. I mean, weird stuff. I'm telling you, people, these people in the last days, these are tears. I don't care how much they seem like they're doing the right things. But even, even if it had been once or twice, they'd fallen into it and never went back to it. This has went on for years of the persecution of the saints. And God's fed up with it. He heard our cries. So you have sifted through my stuff and, and found a little spot in the Catholic church where I love to hear their songs and, and there are things about the Catholic church, some of the things that really encourage me and it reminds me of my grandmother and I'm happy that I can just take that in and I know that there's things in the Protestant church and the same thing 
but I don't, I don't, I don't say that I'm either one anymore. I really don't. I don't. I'll not go up and tell anybody, hey, I'm a Protestant or, hey, I'm a Catholic, because I'm a follower of Jesus Christ, because I know in in all these denominations and all these things, heaven's not about that. How are we going to get along up there, with Catholics and and with uh, Protestants? And they're going to be they're going to be both up there. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> so I hope that lays it to rest. I know the issues on both both sides. I know that. But you shouldn't be sifting through my stuff looking for some kind of thing or busybody and some kind of thing that you can find as leverage against me to make you feel better about yourself because you've done a horrible thing. And you want me to feel horrible because you know inside when you lay down at night, you know what you've done. And you have to live with that. And maybe you can sleep at nights pretty good right now. Esau probably could too. He probably could sleep pretty good. I don't know. But in the end, he wept bitterly. Because this is stupid stuff you all are doing. To do something like this to the saints is unbelievable. And we totally forgive you is what you don't understand. We just want you to leave us alone and to stop. Just as much for your own self as for us. You've already done to us all you can do. I mean, uh, you could kill us, I guess. You could keep on slandering me, saying, saying how bad I am about, because I, uh, of the Catholic Church or, or because I listen to Protestant stuff you may not like or whatever. I listen to a lot of stuff. I, I even study out what the devil's doing sometimes. I really do. I like to know what my enemy's busy in. You know? I just ask you to use some good sense. Stop doing this stuff. It's it's something